if you look deeper and deeper krishna's life i can understand how a man who knows life as it should be known from cosmos lives and radiates manifests the extreme tyaga sacrifice finally he accepts the curse of gandhari actually he could have rejected the curse of gandhari it is not that all curses affect him no a brahmastra did not affect him. he he could save parikshit from brahmastra stupid aswatthama sends brahmastra krishna says stop and brahmastra stops he gives life back to parikshit so even brahmastra he can nullify he could have just nullified the gandhari scars but he says no i want to honor the pain of gandhari by honoring her curse and he sacrifices yadukula and he knows yadukula is going to be destroyed so he gives his body to surya vamsa the kalinga was ruled by surya vamsa he gives his body to them and tell them tells them hey, you maintain my jiva samadhi my temple the jagannath temple is the place where krishna balarama subhatras bodies physically is in jiva samadhi the deity represents see the body after krishna leaves the body it floats in the ocean and goes to that side as directed by him that body filled with a salt water natural mummification then all the three bodies were recovered by the surya vamsa rajas and they build the temple and they are maintaining it and it's a living deity i tell you krishna is alive in jagannath subhatra is alive in jagannath balabatra is alive in jagannath if you want to see krishna directly face to face go to jagannath go to puri he is alive living sakshat pratyaksha murti 